Okay. Hello and welcome to the September edition of the Seamus Ennis Art Center Zoom singing sessions. You are all very welcome. I'm um, looking around the room. I've said this at almost every session so far. I think all of you have done this before, just in case you haven't. Um, I'll do a couple of ground rules, not rules as such, just, just uh, give you the lay of the land. Um, as you can imagine, this is, despite we've been on lockdown a few months, this is still new technology and we're catching up with it. So please be patient. Uh, I imagine we'll have a couple of hiccups along the way, but we will get there. Um, as you can all see, you're all muted. Um, and that unfortunately is the way it has to be uh, from now to the end of the session. And um, we will unmute one singer uh, when it's their turn to sing uh, and then mute them again. And unfortunately, this will have to be in a one singer, one song format just for uh, latency and all the rest. Um, in terms of how we, we select singers, uh, I will message people privately, I'll try to at least, and give them heads up uh, when it's their turn to sing. Um, if I don't, if you don't manage to see the message or there's a few going by at the same time, just it's something we'll, we'll, we'll have to bear with. Please don't be too surprised if you're asked out of nowhere. Um, we have 45 people online right now, but we had over 100 registrants for tonight's event. So I can only imagine uh, we won't get to a third. Or sorry, we'll only get to a third uh, of of the, all the people who registered. So if we don't get to you, it's nothing personal. Um, it's just time constraints. You won't get there, buddy. But um, as I've said on these sessions before, we do reward loyalty. So if uh, you were here last month and you didn't get a chance to sing, I want you to hit the raise your hand button. Please only hit that button uh, if you were here last month and you, and, uh, you didn't get a chance to sing. Um, otherwise, I'll do my best. I'm going to move around the room, try to do a good cross section of everybody around. Um, but once again, if we don't get to you, it's uh, nothing personal. Uh, we have a special guest here this evening. It's Thomas McCarthy. He's off making a cup of tea at the moment, but maybe if you give him a, a virtual applause now, uh, he might see it later on. Uh, or his friends will show it to him. Um, yeah, and we're just about to get going. As I say, we're all muted here and uh, everybody loves a bit of banter. So please use the chat bar down here if you want to give words of encouragement, if you want to slag somebody off within reason and uh, discuss the, you know, the origins of songs or the normal stuff you do uh, at a session in a pub. So without further ado, we're going to get kicked off. Uh, our first singer will be Mick Dunn. Our second singer will be Elaine. And our third singer will be uh, Lisa Knoll, followed by Charlie Bond, their husband and wife, uh, or wife and husband in this case, and they will get us two songs from their window. So I'm going to ask to unmute Mick. He has to accept it. Mick Dawn, are you there? I am, yeah. Thanks, Dara. No problem. You must have a song in you. Yeah, sure. I'll just forward away. Yeah, thanks. Take it over. <clears throat> da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> If you were the restless sea, I the steadfast stone, you the waving kelp above, I the bleaching bones, your little waves to lap my feet, Advance and a kiss and crow tree treat surround submerge at last complete you and I truly one and were you then a yellow blue Dancing in the grass, I a hunting honeybee, pausing ere I pass. And as I'd sip your nectar sweet, your pollen grains around my feet. In that ecstatic moment meet, O oh, you and I truly one. And where I then a single seed, 
of all the millions in the field. And you, a gentle raindrop from the sky, as you'd fall upon my breast, to awaken me from my long rest. In that moment by the old God blessed, O oh, you and I truly one. And were you then the last wild leaf on the autumn bough? I, the wind, a wanton thief, to blow as I blow now. And when you'd fall, as fall you must, I, to be the waiting dust, beyond sorrow, pain, or lust. And lie forever truly one. There we go. <laughs> mighty, mighty stuff, Mick. Thanks so much for that. Uh, Thanks, Nelly, Nelly Weldon would be proud. Uh, I never, I never met Liam, but uh, I'm sure he would be too. Uh, I was on the phone. Song, yeah. I was on the phone to Nelly a few a few weeks ago, and she's in good spirits and good health and all the rest. Good. But she she misses the singing dearly, so. Yeah. We have her in spirit. Okay. Um, I'm going to move over now to Glasgow uh, and get our good friend Elaine, who is no stranger to these sessions now. Elaine, I'm going to unmute you. Are you there? Hi. Hi, Dara. Yes, I am. Mick, that was just wonderful. Got right to the bones. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I'm going to sing a song called The Fisherman's Wife, which I see quite a few faces here. You've probably heard me sing this not long ago, but um, there's a final verse that I've discovered, so I'll give that a go at the end of it. But uh, this is keeping me going at the minute, this song, because it's just, it's my song about superheroes. So. If I would be a fisherman's wife, to work with a tub and a scrubber and a knife, a deed would fire and a ravel bed and a water to the muscles in the morning. Here we come scooring in, three reefs to the foresail and there's nae a dry stick to put on, we're back but still we're all teetotalers. Falgies are haunted and the ripper lead the tribe or a coddy at the bay of Peter Heed, there may be at the lummy of the clock and sort of seed when they're caught to the small lines in the morning. Here we come scooring in, three reefs to the foresail and there's nae a dry stick to put on, we're back but still we're all teetotalers. The pair old feathers in the middle of the flare Beating hooks into tippets and they're hanging on his chair They're made with horses hair, man, cos that's the best of gear To be gone to the fishing in the morning Here we come scooring in Three reefs to the four sailing There's nae a dry stick to put on We're back, but still we're all teetotalers It's doing the gettle breeze in the middle of the nicht With an old syrup tin and a connel for a licht Together all the pullers, every ain of them a sect So we get the liney baited in the morning here we come scooring in, three reefs to the four sailing. There's nae a dry stick to put on, we're back, but still we're all teetotalers. It's easy for the cobbler sitting in his nook, weighs big copper kettle hanging on a cook. But we're in a boo and we can't get a hook, it's sair hard work in the morning. Here we come scooring in, three reefs to the four sailing. There's nae a dry stick to put on, we're back, but still we're all teetotalers. Totless. It's no the kind of life that a gentle queen can tow Where fingers she draw with a scrubbing of the yule A little on her hip, she's a water carry cold She'll be caught sardine in the morning Here we come scooring in Three reefs to the four sailing There's nae a dry stick to put on We're back, but still we're all teetotlers Still in awe, she wouldn't change it for the grandest of your gear She never kens the minute that her heart alive with fear He's a water the sea and he's all that she holds dear Could be wet would ways bairn in the morning Here we come scooring in Three reefs to the four sailing There's nae a dry stick to put on We're back, but still we're all teetotlers 
If I would be a fisherman's wife, to work with a tub and a scrubber and a knife, a deed would fire and a ravel bed and a water the muscles in the morning. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> mighty, mighty stuff all the way from Bonnie Scotland. That was that was wonderful, Elaine. We've, uh, we have lift off. <laughs> it's a great song to sing during lockdown. It keeps you going. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. OK, um, I'm going to move over now to uh, just outside Washington, D.C. to Lisa Null and Charlie Baum. Lisa and Charlie, I'm going to ask to unmute you. Oh, am I? Yes. I'm going to ask to unmute you. You have to accept it. I'm unmuted. We've got you. How are you two? Ah, I'm excited to be here. This is a, I'm so glad you're back in session. <laughs> uh, here's a song from Scranton, Pennsylvania, which our nominee Biden, who's going to hopefully unleash President Trump from his reign of terror, uh, comes from Scranton, which was the center of the anthracite region where I lived for many years. And here's a song from that country from the late 19th century. <clears throat> I'm a hard-working miner, you can tell by my hands, although I am honest and free. Oh, a dollar a day is very small pay for a man with a large family. I work in the mines where the sun never shines. And daylight does never appear. With my lamp blazing red on the top of my head. And in danger I never know fear. Pity the poor man who works in the mines with the mules and the rats underground. Where the smoke is so thick, you can cut it with a stick and you can weigh it on scales by the pound. Oh, when I work in, in the mines, mines where the, the sun never shines, shines and daylight does never appear. With my lamp blazing red on the top of my head, and in danger, I never know fear. My face, it is black with the dust of the coal, though my heart, it is open and free. I would share my last crust with the man that's in want, though I earned it so hard, you see. I work in the mines where the soul never shines and daylight does never appear. With my lamp blazing red on the top of my head and in danger I never know fear. Now my kind friends I must bid you goodbye. I cannot say here any more. I will pick up my pack, throw it over my back. I am sure I will never see you more. Oh, I work in the mines where the sun never shines and daylight does never appear with my lamp blazing red on the top of my head and in danger i never know fear tune the man you don't meet every day but that was circulating over here too wonderful lisa absolutely wonderful there's a that song is sung a bit here as well. There's a great singer uh, from Inishon, uh, the Inishon Peninsula uh, in sort of northeastern Donegal uh, called Kevin McGonagall. He sings that song, but he actually worked uh, building, digging tunnels in London. So he's got his own sort of, we don't have much mines here, but we've definitely done our, our fair share of tunneling. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So Charlie, what you got? I have a song from the American Civil War. It's called The Federal Soldier. 
And um, I got it from the singing, well, I, I learned it from a woman named Ruth Pershing, and eventually it comes back to Currence Hammonds, who comes from Southern Randolph County in West Virginia. And what is really amazing to me is that recently I heard Alice Wilde, who is, lives near London, England, but who is originally from West Virginia, and she has a song that's the mirror image of my song. The tune is different, but the, her song is about a, a woman whose guy has gone off and left her, um, and it's not working out. And my song is the guy, uh, from, from the man's point of view, and what I love about it is that almost everything he said he says in the song is untrustworthy. It's <laughs> not he, he does not come up with the real reasons for anything. It was early one morning, one morning in May. I spied a young soldier lamenting and saying. Oh, Molly, Miss Molly, it's for you I roam. I left my dear old family, my country, and my home. Bid adieu to old Kentucky, I can no longer stay. Hard times and the rebels, they are driving me away. Hard times and the rebels, they are causing me to roam. I am a federal soldier and far from my home. Here's a glass of good old whiskey and a bottle of port wine. So you can drink to your true love while I mourn for mine. I've gone with General Burnside and his army I roam. I am a federal soldier and far from my home. I will build me a cabin on yonder's mountain high. So I can see the wild geese as they go flying by. Perhaps some turtle dove will see me and will come to me and mourn. I am a federal soldier and far from my home. Federal soldier. Great stuff, Charlie. Thanks so much. Great, great to see and hear both of you. Um, okay, Charlie and uh, Lisa, I'll ask you just to mute yourselves there and we're gonna move over now to Sandy. I'm going to ask to unmute you, Sandy, and you have to uh, accept my unmuting. Sandy, how are you? I'm good. Can you yeah. hear me? We can okay. hear you fine. We can hear you fine. Good. This well, is you the better first you time sing, I've anyway. done this, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> no worries. Just, just before Sandy sings, um, just a reminder, guys, if anyone was here last month and didn't get a chance to sing, hit the raise your hand button. Just take it away, Sandy. <clears throat> I have traveled in exile midst cold-hearted strangers far, far from my home and the beautiful Lee. I have struggled alone through all sorrows and dangers. I braved every storm by land and by sea. Through Columbia's wild forest, or India's spicy bower, and the great foreign rivers whose sands are of gold, I have sighed for thee still. Mid the birds and the flowers, I love you and will till this heart will grow cold. I have roved with fair maidens with dark flowing tresses and beautiful eyes that looked kindly on me. But I thought with regret 
of the smiles and caresses of a fair-haired young maiden who lives by the lea. I have come back again, but she's not in her bower, and the river runs past with its slow, tiny waves. I have sought, I have called her in vain, though the ivy crumb tower of sweet in Iscara o'ershadows her grave and the home of my childhood to ruin it has fallen and the dear ones that blessed it shall greet me no more but I gaze on it still joyous memories recalling though the long grass is grown on the steps by the door I will be with you soon with the shamrock above me from my own native birthplace never more shall I roam till I am laid in the grave with the dear one that loved me and in death she will welcome her wanderer home. Garmagat. Lovely, Sandy. Where, where are you calling from? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. I've been, I've been for a very, very short time, once upon a time. Lovely city. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Thanks for being with us. Okay, we're going to now move up to Fair Derry, uh, I believe, uh, to our, our next guest. Derry was the last place I met him, um, but he's a great singer and a great friend of the sessions. Connor, I'm going to ask to unmute you, and you have to accept. Yes, lad. How are you, Connor? I'm great, Dara. Thanks very much. <laughs> You know, Connor, you, you, you tuned into the first Zoom session that I ever did, and I think it was one of the first ones around this way back in March. I don't think I've seen you since then. How have you been? Uh, I'd be flat out. Uh, it's been a heavy growing season. Um, an awful lot of spuds planted and harvested. And uh, um, yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been loving offline uh, up in the, the hills, and I'm actually in Derry tonight, and yeah. I've got a reception. So I was really glad to be able to join everybody. Uh, We're glad you know, as well, Connor. Uh, Oh, thank you so much. Um, I, I'm going to sing a wee song that isn't uh, strictly traditional, maybe, but uh, I first heard it about 35, 35 years ago, I think. Um, and uh, so it's probably traditional by now. And um, it was uh, it was recorded by the, the group Chumbawamba. I think they, they wrote it. It's called uh, uh, The Nazi Song. I think everyone knows why that's real of now. Ah, they said that after the war, the Nazis vanished without a trace. Of a battalion of fascists, they still dream of a master race. Oh, the history books they tell of their defeat in 45. How about they all come out of the woodwork on the day the Nazi died? They said the prisoner of Spandau was a symbol of defeat. And while Hess remained in prison and the fascists, they were beat. And the promise of an Aryan race, it would never materialize. How about they all come out of the woodwork on the day the Nazi died? Our world is riddled with maggots, and the maggots are getting fat. They've been making a tasty meal of all the bosses and bureaucrats. They're taking over the boardrooms, and they're fat and full of pride. And they all came out of the woodwork on the day the Nazi died. So if you meet with these historians, I'll tell you what they say. 
Just tell them that the Nazis never really went away. Sure, they're out there burning houses down and peddling racist lies. And we'll never rest in peace until every Nazi dies. Oh, my God, Connor. That is the stuff. I could see I could see the inspiration rippling through the virtual audience. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I've missed you, my friend. I've missed you. Oh, I missed you too, Dara. Great to see everybody. I'm honoured. Thanks. No worries. Oh, okay. I'm uh, going to move on to another good friend of mine, Mr. Fergus Cahillan. I'm going to unmute him now. Fergus is only, Jesus, he might, he might be three minutes walk away, but I haven't seen him in six months. <laughs> Fergus, how are you? Good. Good to see you all. How are you doing? Not too bad at all. Um, I'll give something a short one ago. Um, come all you fair and tender girls that flourish in your prime prime. Beware, beware, keep your garden fair. Let no man steal your time, time. Let no man steal your time. For when your time is past and gone, he'll care no more for you. And every place where your time was laid, Will spread all o'er with Ruru. Will spread all o'er with Ruru. For woman is a branch of tree, and man a clinging vine, vine. And from your branches he'll carelessly Take what he can find, find He'll take what he can find Good <laughs> Lovely stuff, my friend. It was strange though, there was some like, I think it was like a like a washing machine humming in the background, but it was in perfect That's, tune. It was yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. But anyway, <laughs> gorgeous singing, gorgeous singing. Okay, uh, we're going to go over to Alison O'Donnell now. Alison, I'm going to unmute you. Are you there? Yep, I am. Can you hear me? And do you have a song, more importantly? Uh, how about the Moloch Shore? Go for it. The old hills and dales and flowery vales that line of the Moloch shore. Your vines that blow, my borders grow. Will I ever see you more? Where the primrose blows and the violet grows, where the trout and salmon play. With line and hook, delight I took to spend my youthful days. Last night I went to see my love and to hear what she might say. And to see if she'd take pity on me, lest I might go away. She said, I've loved an Irish lad, and he was my only joy. And ever since, I saw his face, I've loved that soldier boy. Well, perhaps your soul, your laddie, is lost, sailing over the sea of Maine. 
Or perhaps he has gone with some other one. You may never see him again. Well, if my Irish laddie is lost, he's the one I do adore. And seven years I will wait for him by the banks of the Moloch shore. Farewell to Sinclair's castle ground. Farewell to the foggy hill. Where the linen web lies bleaching still. And the purling stream runs still. Near there I spent my youthful days. But alas, they are no more for cruelty has banished me far away from the Moloch shore. Ah, 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 Thanks very much, Alison. Great to see you. Uh, okay, we are going to move over now uh, first to Iona Ritchie, and then we're going to move over to New York to Deirdre and Chris. Iona, I'm going to unmute you. How are you, Iona? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm in, I'm in fine form. The, the singing thus far has been absolutely wonderful, and we're barely 40 minutes in. How are you? Good, thank you. All back. I'm back in school now, so everything's a bit back to reality now god yeah what do you have a song um, i'm gonna sing a i do have a song um, i'm gonna sing a waterford song um called comrades rugged hill <clears throat> in comrades rugged hill in memory by the mountain side alone i chance to to view the hills and purple heights, alas, now are we, where the lonely mountain silvery stream flows by the ancient hills. Its torrents changing into foam Neath Comrades Rugged Hill It's long years since I bid farewell For it was my sad fate from a land oppressed by cruel laws, I had to emigrate. But in my waking thoughts each day, my eyes with tears would fill. O'er scenes and hearts so far away from Comrade Rocket Hill. The village church close by the mill, again I seem to view. It stands as fair and beautiful as when I bid adieu. The boys with whom I used to play, I think I hear them still. Old comrades now 
so far away from Kamara's rugged hill. When in this foreign land today, I lay me down to rest. The thought of my dear native place still throbs with my breath. And when at night to sleep I go, my dreams they seem to fill of my own one dear happy home neath Kamara's rugged hills. Thank you. Gorgeous, Iona. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. It'll, uh, if it does something for your Saturday night getting back to school, we're, we're glad at least. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay, um, we're going to move over now to New York, to Deirdre and Chris. I'm going to unmute you. How are you two? Oh, I tried to unmute them. I'm going to try again. Ask to unmute. Ah, we have you. Deirdre and Chris, how are you? We're delighted to see you in your short Beatles haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, I went in and just asked for a trim and I came out. It was it was like my grandmother cutting my hair back in the day. Being uh, like, I, you have I know be what's best for you. <laughs> Got to be careful there. Got to be careful. I know. Right, theater will go first. Um, Iona's song was so lovely. I'm going to sing an American song by way of contrast. So let's see how it goes. One morning, one morning, one morning in May, I heard a married man to a young girl say, rise up pretty Katie and come go with me to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. And I'm gonna go lower. I'll buy you a horse, love, and a saddle to ride. And I'll buy another to ride by your side. We'll stop at every tavern whenever we're dry. We'll cross the blue mountains to the island. My, my Katie and, and I. And then up spoke her mother, and angry was she then. Daughter, oh daughter, he is a married man. There are many men more handsome, more handsome than he. Oh, let him take his own wife to the Allegheny. Oh, mother, oh, mother, he's the man of my heart. And wouldn't it be a terrible thing if we had to part? I'd envy every woman that ever I see to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. The last time I saw them, they were saddled to ride. And there was pretty Katie right by his side. They were laughing and singing, so happy to be free, to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny. And they left before daybreak on a buckskin and roam. Rode through tall shivering pine trees where the mockingbirds moan. Past dark cabin windows where the eyes do not see to cross the blue mountains to the Allegheny.
Lovely stuff, Deirdre. Okay, a familiar song with the chorus. There's the day, it's not the day, tis the day the night is over. It's not the day, whatever you say, and it's only the moon to guide the rover. A fitful sleep the landlord had, with din and chat, none of his choosing. His daughter in the broad daylight, abusing those who stood there boozing. There's the day, it's not the day, it is the day, the night is over. It's not the day, whatever you say, and it's only the moon to guide the rover. Come, landlord, join us in the snug, all talk of sleep and slumber scorning. There's not one drop in jar nor jug, that we won't drain before it's morning. There's the day, it's not the day, it is the day, the night is over. It's not the day, whatever you say, and it's only the moon to guide the rover. I'll stay in bed, the landlord said, for if I get up, you'll go out quicker. So drink your fill of swipes and swill, but not one drop of my good liquor. There's the day, it's not the day, it is the day, the night is over. It's not the day, whatever you say, and it's only the moon to guide the rover. This tavern has my socks and shoes. The landlord has my coat and breeches. By morning, I've no more to lose. So I'll go and snooze amongst the ditches. There's the day, it's not the day. It is the day, the night is over. It's not the day, whatever you say. And it's only the moon to guide the rover. But I've money left to treat a friend. Here's my last guinea upon the table. Let's tilt the barrel upon its end. And let's be drinking whilst we're able. There's the day, it's not the day. It is the day. The night is over. Yeah, it's not the day, whatever you say, and it's only the moon to guide the rover. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, both of you. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Do you know, it's just it's just <laughs> being being in isolation and on lockdown this whole time. It's such a novelty to hear two people sing together. <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, guys. Thanks for being here. Okay, I'm uh, going to move over to a man named John Johnston, who uh, had his hand raised there. John, I'm going to ask to unmute you, and you have to accept my unmuting. John Johnston. Do we have you, John? Oh, we, we must do Yeah, John, are you there? Are you, Dada? Are you well? <laughs> How are you keeping not too bad. Your, your video's off, but we can hear you fine. That's fine. Okay. Good man. Thanks, Tara. Yeah, no worries. You have a song for us? Yeah, I have a chance for it. Okay. Thanks, Tara. Uh, song, uh, I'm a Rossi, but it's a, a leash song. Okay. And uh, about a tongue land called Valley Roan. And it was written by Thomas Hodge back in the 1870s. Schoolmaster. And he tipped off to America, so he left his song. I love the sunny shores of France And I love the Italian sky 
where beauty beams o'er fields and streams, where nature reigns sublime. I love the Alps, the winding Rhine, the classic poem roll. Ah, but ten times more do I adore the skies or valley room the summer sun there shone upon a sweeter little town the purling rill that runs the mill through hazel shades runs down the moat I crowned with noble trees, its origins unknown, with silver grace, illumines the place for miles round Ballyroom. The chapel spire, I over all points to a crystal sky and the vespers chime proclaims the time when evening worships night and on the heart the workman hides his hours of toil now flow with songs of cheer and scully's beer in livens valley and i love the sunny shores of france and i love the italian skies where beauty beams o'er fields and streams where nature reigns sublime and along the Alps, or oh, the winding Rhine, the classic poem room. Ah, but ten times more do I adore the skies or Bally Rhone. Oh, Bally Rhone, my native home with grief my heart is sore for within my breast and you oppressed i'd act the hero's part and if i should fall for ireland's cause like emmet and wolf tone then my last cry to God and high would be for Ballyroan. And I love the sunny shores of France, and I love the Italian skies, where beauty beams o'er fields and streams, where nature reigns sublime. And I love the Alps, or the winding Rhine, the classic poem Rome. Ah, but ten times more do I adore the skies or Bally Rome. That's it, Dara. Thank you. Gorgeous stuff, John. Thank you so much. Thanks yourself very much. Thanks for everything. Yeah, no, we, we, we've many songs of, of that sort. Um, I heard a joke a while back. I hope I'm not repeating it. I think I said it on one of these calls before, but anyway, bear with me. Um, the, the joke was, how do you know a boomerang is an Irish boomerang? It never comes back, but sings beautiful songs about how much it wants to. <laughs> Gorgeous Bad. stuff, John. Thanks for having Thank us. Or th thanks for being here. Um, pleasure, my pleasure. Okay. Um, we are going to move over to... Portland, Oregon, or just outside it, um, to Michael Steen. Michael, I'm going to ask to unmute you. You must accept. We have you. A Vicky and Dan Dealish, how are you? Hey, man, I'm great. Can, can you hear me? Perfect, loud and clear. Oh, great. Thanks for asking me to sing, and uh, great, great to be a part of this session. Uh, 
Okay. As I roved out on a May morning to take a pleasant walk, I sat down beneath an old oak tree or to hear two lovers talk, to hear what they might say, my dear, to hear what they might say, so I would know a little more about love before I went away. Come and sit on the grass, he said. On the dewy grass, said he. It's a long three quarters of a year or more since together we have been. Since together we have been, my dear. And together we have been. It's a long three quarters of a year or more. And together we have been. Oh, I'll not sit on the grass, said she. Now or any other time. My heart is given to another fair one, and yours is no longer mine. Yours is no longer mine, my dear. Yours is no longer mine. My heart is given to another fair one. And yours is no longer mine. He stands for Patty, I suppose. J for my love, John. W stands for false Willie O. But Johnny is the fairest one. Johnny is the fairest man, my dear. Johnny is the fairest man. My heart is given to another fair one. He is Johnny, the fairest man. Oh, I'll climb up an old oak tree. I'll rob a little bird's nest. And I'll climb down without breaking leaf or flower the arms I love the best. To the arms I love the best, my dear. To the arms I love the best. I'll climb down without breaking leaf or flower the arms I love the best. Well, P stands for Patty, I suppose. J for my love, John. W stands for false Willie O. But Johnny is the fairest man. Johnny is the fairest man, my dear. Johnny is the fairest man. My heart is given to another fair one. He's Johnny, the fairest man. Well, I don't care what an old woman says. Her days, they are gone. Neither do I care what a young maiden says. She's false to many a man. False to many a man, my dear. He is false to many a man. I don't care what a young maiden says. She is false to many a man. Well, P stands for Patty, I suppose. J for my love, John. W stands for false, Willie 
Johnny, oh, but Johnny is the fairest one. Johnny is the fairest man, my dear. Johnny is the fairest man. My heart is given to another fair one. He's Johnny, the fairest man. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Michael, Michael, wonderful stuff. I, 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 I would, I would wager Michael is the fairest man, but how and ever. Um, I don't know with with that new haircut, Dara. I, I, I think. Well, it's funny you should say that, Michael. You were getting all sorts of all sorts of praise all through the chat during your singing there. But my favorite comment was from Elaine, where she just said, "The barber's been busy." <laughs> the barber's been open, Elaine. I think, I think, I think that's that's the, the key word there. The barber's open. <laughs> okay, Great to thanks. have you, my friend. Okay, well, uh, we're not going to waste any time. I'm going to get one final song um, from Nisha Machawil. Uh, I'm going to unmute you, Nisha Chara. Nisha, how are you? I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a Aran Haskinya here from uh, Northwest Ireland, County Donegal, but this is the Connemara version. So sometimes it's a bit of a taboo for Shannon singers to kind of go across their <laughs> respective regional borders. But uh, I've kind of over the past few weeks said the hell with that because I just love singing these songs. So why not? This is Aran Haskinya, the song of the Eel, Aran Chirna Randall, as it's known in English. And it's about uh, a man who was poisoned by his wife. Um, I think he was a very rich man, so that might be the reason behind it. And um, there was no, they didn't, they, they didn't do divorce in them days. But um, he goes on, he's, he's discussing this with his with his sister on his on his deathbed, and uh, she's saying to him, "Well, what do you want to leave? You know, well, where were first? He says, where were you since morning? And then what did you eat for your dinner? And he says, I was out fishing, I was out hunting, and I ate the needle for my dinner. Um, and then she says, well, what are you going to leave your brother? What are you going to leave your father? What are you going to leave your mother? And then it comes to the final verse. What are you going to leave? Uh, what are you going to leave your wife? And he says, oh, I'm going to leave. Hell is a kingdom for her and heaven to be closed in upon her. So I don't know, you could say it's quite gruesome, but uh, it's actually it's quite a nice song despite all that. And it's it's a pleasure to sing. And um, hopefully I can make it a pleasure to listen to as well. So it's got to be short in the house, can you? Yeah, great. Yeah. Nisha, Nisha, just before you start, I just want to give a just a five minute warning to Thomas. Thomas, we're going to get your first set after this one. All right. Skula Nisha. Okay. Bye. Okay. Good 
jaya di aya re nyo jaya ke to e jaya di apur nazaro akhir mastablaje Nashin smala wanege Satine safa makhri Agis bega jaja Serda kestu eda yar Ayarinyo Serda Ketuwe Dayarar Ngapur Nazaro Akhir Makhram Kaje Ashen Smila Ponte Ege Satine Safa Makhri Agis Bega Jaja Sheta Agis Tue Dawar Ayarinyo Sheta Agis Tue Dawar Ngafur Nazaro Adawagan Silbrach Ki Adagan Kri Krach Ki Marta Chene Safa Makhri Agis Bega Jaja Serta Agis Tue Davan Fost Ayari Nyo Serta Agis Tue Davan Fost Apur Nazaro Efram Margo Yekwi Agis Nyau Avatu Che Ari Marta Che Nya Safa Makhri Agis Pe Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, bother with the Kodamara songs, Nisha. You could, you could sing the phone book. Oh, absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Nastad, Nastad. Okay. It's not working. Okay. Um, without further ado, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce our guest for the evening. Thomas McCarthy will be known to all of you uh, by this stage. If not, you must be living under a very large rock. Uh, one of the foremost traditional singers of his generation, of any generation. Uh, winner of the Tijikar Aron in the Blina. You're in for a treat here. Thomas, I'm going to unmute you and you have to accept the unmuting. Yeah, have you, Thomas? How are you? Thanks, Dara. Oh, what not a what not a great song. <laughs> he's 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 getting better, isn't he? Well, fabulous, <laughs> That song now, uh, you know, the travellers have a, a version of that song in English, and they, although you'll find that that song, you'll hear many versions of it, but you'll find that the travellers have the old monster Gaelic ear. They kept. If you hear the Gaelic song, I think Nell Necrona sings that song. And somebody said to me, it's the same ear that the travellers have. You know, so they kept the Gaelic ears a lot longer, I think, 
than uh, other singers. Uh, I'll start off. I'd like to say thank you for inviting me and the Seamus Ennis Centre. Uh, <clears throat> we'll start off with a song that I love myself. Some of you will have heard it before. Uh, it's a song that came from my grandfather's people. My grandfather's people went out to Virginia, West Virginia. And it's a song that came back with them. Uh, this is one. And for me, when although it's a different subject, uh, uh, you have um, so like the, the song Skibberine. That was made out in America. And although it's a song about a son speaking to the father and it's a different subject, uh, this is a, a boy talking to his love. He has to go. And uh, <clears throat> he uh, is, uh, I love the language in the song. The seed of hate in my heart to grow. And you can understand people having to leave their home with, uh, with the hunger and, and, you know, during the, the, the famine time. <clears throat> I must away. <clears throat> I must away from you, my sweetheart, and all my kin I live behind. I'm wanted now. As an outlaw, oh, my, now go far to find. On the Yankee shores, I will wander where hunger pangs. They are unknown, the people of our corset land. There they are welcome as their own. In future years, I'll return love. I'll come and change for you once more. Sure, so how could I ever forget you? To live you grieves my young heart's core. My mother's keens. Her lamentations, how she tore on her grey hair, the moans, the groans of my aged father, I'm sure no mortal soul could be. God calls the lalard and the bill lives to every poor man's bitter foe. Cast out thy roam from my forefather's home, the seed of hate in my heart did grow. Happy was I to live my life, love, just as nature she had willed. In my cabin down by the river to work the ground, my father till I could not leave again at home, love. Now she is such a stricken land. The tyrant has her by the throat, in near release his blood stained hand. There's not one inch of Irish soil that's not trod no but by slaves that die unkind. But then they're flung like dogs into a silent grave. Don't fall in love for me no more. The time has passed. I wish to die and find my way to the churchyard green where all of my forefathers lie. For when the body it is broke and sleep does call beneath the dust, I still pray on for bitter days. In God alone, I'll place my trust. So as I go away from you, love, these painful words, they're hard to speak. The last fond embrace, I'm taken now, my lips still pressed to your sweet tea.
The last minute it is no as this is within the wine. Oh, hold me closer to your heart. I leave you soon behind. <clears throat> it's a song I think that is just as important as Skibbery, you know, myself. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll carry on with a song that some of you will have heard me do. The great Chano singer Sean Ecknonica. He was the first man to record the song in Ireland. It's an old English song. Green Brooms. You've heard me. Some of you heard me doing it. Uh, but uh, it was a different version. It is a different version. My mother used to sing. Uh, uh, old Sean Ectonic sang about a man in the East. My mother sang about a man in the West. So we'll start with we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start. Green Brooms. <clears throat> there was an old... Oh, no, sorry. To get to here now, I've gone flying off. There was an old man and he lived in the west. His threat was the cotton of brooms, green brooms. He had a soul, his name it was Jai. He stayed up in the bed till bright noon, bright noon, up in the bed till bright noon. The old father arose and up to Jack goes. He swore he would burn down his room, his room. If he didn't arise, open your eyes, go out to the green woods, cut brooms, cut brooms, go out to the green woods to cut brooms. Jackie did eyes and sharpen his knife. He went out to the green woods to cut brooms, cut brooms. At the markets, the fairs, he cries everywhere, Oh, fair maid, will you buy my brooms, green brooms? Fair maid, will you buy my green brooms? Jack rambled out through the green woods alone. He came to a castle of stone, great stone. He rapped at the door as he half did before, crying, Maid, will you buy my brooms, green brooms? Maid, will you buy my green brooms? A lady up high, Jack, she did this by, she marveling much at his bloom, his bloom. Quickly she said to her servant, Maid, go fetch me the lad. Who sells brooms, green brooms? Fetch me the lad who sells brooms. Jackie came back up the stairs. He did go. He entered that fair lady's room, her room. Jack, oh, says she, could you fancy me? Will you marry a lady in bloom and bloom? Would you marry a lady in bloom? Jack gave consent to the church they both went. He married the lady in bloom, in bloom. She says, I do confess there's none in the West. It's as good as the lad who sells brooms, green brooms. As good as the lad who sells brooms. Sorry. Uh, I'll do a song that I don't usually do. It's a song that all the old travelers would do. Uh, and every family, every years ago, every single traveling family did that song. And some of you will know, you, uh, you, know, you all know, it is an old English ballad there. Uh, what put the blood? We'll give it a go. And just the way our family did it. You'd hear a different version, traveling versions. The way my grandfather did it. Uh, what put it <clears throat> What put the blood on your hand? When oh, sorry, sorry. 
Where have you been to this morning, my son? Oh, son, oh, tell it unto me. I've been hunting for years the whole day all through cruel treachery, all through cruel treachery. What put the blood on your hand, my son? Oh, son. O oh, tell it unto me, tis the blood of a hair, I killed today, I killed most manfully, I killed most manfully, the blood of the hair could never be so red, oh son. O oh, tell it unto me, tis the blood of my brother I killed today, I killed most brutefully, I killed most brutefully. What will you do when your father finds you a hoe, O son, O oh, tell it unto me? I will place my foot on board of a ship and sail for another country. Sail for another country. What will you do with your two fine horses, O oh son, O oh tell it unto me? I will take the colors off of their necks. They'll plow no more for me. They'll plow no more for me. And what will you do with your two haunting hounds? Oh, son, oh, tell it unto me. I will take the straps off of their necks, they'll plow, they'll hunt no more for me, they'll hunt no more for me. What will you do with your lovely young wife, or oh son, or oh tell it unto me? She can place her foot on board of a shield and follow on after me and follow on after me. What will you do with your two lovely babies, O oh son, or oh tell it unto me? I'd give one to my mother the other to my father, to keep them company, to keep them company. And what will you do with your houses and land, O oh son, or oh, tell it unto me? I believe it there, for the birth all of the year, there's no more. Comfort for me, there's no more comfort for me. I didn't do a great job on that now, but it's a song that they all would do. I don't do it that often at all. And I thought now I'd finish off uh, this round uh, with a song that I did from the new album. And it's a great song, Johnny Carey. It's a great song. Johnny Carey loves a beauty, a lively cutie, Molly O'Leary put her father on degree. The daughter to give to Johnny Carey, away we'll run, away for fun, for my father's two country, 
The old man passed away one day. I hear it was not from drinking water to catch the house. The land is there. left by will to Molly's daughter to catch the house. The land to see. I wish she could so light and clear. Won't you follow me? Won't you follow me? Fit I will see Johnny Kiri. Daddy little do. Daddy little do. Daddy little do. Daddy little do. Daddy little Molly herself was taken bad. The fever or siege day was growing. Johnny dear, says she, tis sad. To the other world, I think I'm going. You won't survive, my lass, you know. Nor long remain in Tipperary. Won't you follow me? Won't you follow me? Fear to you will, says Johnny. Fit I will not see Johnny Kiri. Dai da di 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 do, di 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 do, di 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 do, di do, ma di 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 do, di di. Something went off in the background there. I couldn't tell what it was. Put me off. All right. No problem, Tommy. Absolutely, mighty singing. Just before we, before we, we're going to take a break now. But just before we do, would you let everybody know where they can buy your CD? Yes, you could contact me on Facebook or an an. There's also contacts here in Ireland now who have it as well. So uh, you can, uh, that's the only way at the moment. Great stuff, great stuff. And uh, just so everybody knows, uh, when Thomas makes a round of CDs, you have to get your hands on one because they go and then they're, they aren't available for another 18 months, whatever. I recall trekking in a couple of times a month to listen to Thomas's first album in the traditional music archive. So take it from me, snap one up while they're still there. All right, thanks for that, Thomas. Uh, we'll be back Thank to you, you shortly. Okay, folks, uh, so we're going to take a five minute break now. I'll uh, just, if you need to go to the bathroom or refill your drink or whatever, um, I'll give you the option to unmute yourselves if you want to have a chat. Um, just, I'm going to give the first three singers of the second half a heads up. I'm going to ask um, Eugene McEldenny to kick us off in the second half uh, after the five minute break, uh, followed by Phil O'Connor and then Pamela Ryan ago, please. See you in a few. You should have the ability to unmute yourselves there. But remember, you're live on the internet, so keep it clean. So... And, yeah, I'm going to slip away. Yeah, I heard you saying that. Yeah, I have to ring Aidan. Uh, he just rang there a second ago, and uh, Graham is waiting for me on the couch. Okay, but I, can, I can catch up with the rest of this. Will Any you be? Time. Will you be around that... tomorrow? No, it's not on tomorrow. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So no, oh. I was on, I was around yesterday at a funeral, which are, okay. that's for, that's for another chat. Okay. See you then. See you. Bye, everybody, and thank you so much. See you Enjoy the rest of the night. See you soon. Take care. It's really funny. You always say goodbye, and then you're 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 there with this big smile on your face, like how do you how the fuck do you get out of here? Okay. <laughs> this is Hotel California. Sorry. What you can never leave, is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, nightmare. Are you gone yet, Nate? Hey, Jerry? Hi, do you remember me from the Rothcommon Singers Festival in 2011? Can you see who I am? <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's coming? Festival. Oh, maybe my mic's not working.
Mm. Hey, Johnny. How's it going, Bernie? Very good. Ah, good someone else here with me. Sean, is it? Yeah. Come on, Sean. Good yeah, to see you. Yeah, good to see yourself. Yeah. yeah. Queer stuff, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah. it is. Queer yeah. stuff. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit different. Yeah, it's a bit different. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Have you yeah. a pint in front of you there, no? Pardon? No, yep. cup of tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, same pint here. In front of you. We haven't got a pint, I'm afraid. Yeah. Tea. Well, I have to put a head in that there. Oh, <laughs> like a ginger, no. <laughs> if you're serving, I'll have a large vodka. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not Damien you have now, you know? <laughs> uh, so, poor Damien, I'd say, is losing out big time there. Oh, like shit, they all are. All are burning, yeah. yeah. Everyone is, yeah. Yeah, tough going. Some Hi, of them are. John, Johnny Johnston from Washington, D.C., Lisa Null and Charlie Baum. Oh, nice. Hey. 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 Sorry, Darla, we're taking over. Are you okay? Oh, geez, we have a few more minutes now. Don't you worry. Okay. Listen, good to see you, Lisa and Charlie. Good to see yeah, you, Good singing you. Yeah, and a uh, lovely singing there, Charlie, as well. Thank yeah, you. you don't hear him too often, but he's getting... No, he never sang for us when we were over, no. Nice. Shiny man, shiny man. Lovely piece. Thank it's you. an Olivian lovey. I won't, I won't hog the chat here, okay? Oh. Has that written anything on Galloping Hogan yet, Johnny? <laughs> Joseph, come on, too. Ah, you must. Come on, you're too thin. Look, I mean, you're just too echo. I'll give the lady, Russ, come on, has. Do you Russ, come on, has now? I'll give the lady, no, no, I'm Jane, Jeremy, there's in, Joe. Let's come on. How much you give me to go in your clan again tomorrow? Oh, come on, come on. Good night, Ian Tollies. Yeah, good Joe. Listen, what are the Spain? I can find a slant. I can go to the No, I didn't. It's Jerry. I know he is. He's a good night. Okay, folks, we're going to get her going again. Um, I'm just trying to get eyes on Eugene McEldowney. Um, I have him there, but I can't see him. Hold on a second, Eugene. I saw a window there for Eugene. Ah, he's not in his chair. We'll give it another second, so. You have, you have the ability to unmute yourselves again, if you like. Uh, actually, it doesn't look like we're, we're going to get Eugene anytime soon. Um, Pamela, since you're in situ there, would you mind singing now? Can you kick off the second half? Great stuff. Um, okay, folks, we're going to get a go in the second half. We'll get Eugene when he returns. Pamela, how are you? I'm just fine. It's about 100 degrees here in California. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, um, and this is a song I got from the singing of Nora Cleary. <clears throat> There was a lord lived in our town, a wealthy man of a high renown. He had one daughter of fair beauty bright, and the name he called her was his heart's delight. It's many's the Lord that a quarter came, but none of them could her favor gain. Till there came a man of a low degree, and above them all, sure, she fancied he. 
Well, when her father came this to know, that his daughter loved this young man so, he sent her fifty long miles away, all to deprive her of her wedding day. As she Her love appeared to her from out the gloom. He touched her hand and these words did say, Arise, my darling, and come away. It's with this young man she got on behind. And they rode swifter than any wine. They rode an hour and a little more till he said, My darling, my head feels sore. It's a holland handkerchief she then drew out and with it wound his aching head about. She kissed his lips and to him did say, My love, you're colder than any clay. At last they rode up to her father's gate. A light, my love, for the hour is late. light, my darling, and go to bed. I'll see this gallant horse is groomed and fed. When she walked into her father's hall, who's there, who's there? Her own father called. Why, it's me, dear father, did you not send for me by such a messenger? And naming he. Oh no, oh no, that cannot be. Your words are false and you lie to me. For on yonder mountain that young man died, and in yon green meadow, lo, his body lies. Her father cursed and her father swore the grey locks from his head he tore. He wrung his hands and he cried full sore and his young daughter she cried ten times more the truth then came to this maiden brave and in the morning she exposed his grave she found her true Sorry for my Paris chiming in at the end. Uh, that was wonderful, Pamela. We've had all sorts of interruptions in singing sessions. We, there's the famous Chris Packets, the, the grunting, the farting. That's, that's the first parrot interruption I've ever had a singing session. Yes, well, it's because I didn't sing her song. She likes the ones uh, with the talking parrots. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Should have known better. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going to mute you now because that's getting a bit much. But uh, thanks very much for being with us, Pamela. Okay, uh, we're going to move over now to uh, Eugene McEldowney. Eugene, are you there? I am. How are you keeping, me? Eugene? We can hear you fine. Are you well? I'm keeping well. I, 
that parrot, I thought the bloody thing was outside my window here. I didn't know what it was. I didn't realise it was coming from Pamela's house. <laughs> when you have a hundred degree heat in, in California, you might get a few more you. parrots around. <laughs> um, earlier tonight, oh, first of all, I want to thank you for getting the show on the road and keeping the flame lit in these terrible pandemic times. So uh, it's good to see everybody and it's good to hear all the songs. Um, in the first half... Lisa and Charlie sang a song from the Pennsylvania coal fields. And this is another song from the same area. Um, it's, I think it's a bit of a, a kind of a, you know, it's, it's kind of taken, making fun, I think, of uh, this, the, the Irish guy who's at the center of this, who's going to, you know, go mad and, buy furniture for that, build up another big house and all this stuff. Um, once the breaker goes back, the breaker, incidentally, I understand, <clears throat> was a machine that smashed up the coal. So if the breaker wasn't working, there was no work for uh, lots of people who obviously uh, collected the coal. Anyway, enough of, enough of, enough of the sleeve notes. <clears throat> oh, say if the news is true. This store bill's the first thing I'll pay. A new parlor suit and a lounge I will buy and an organ for Bridgie. Hooray! Me calico shirt I will throw in the dirt. In a silk one won't I cut a shine. And the very first chance I'll put Seamus in pants when the breaker goes back on full time. Our troubles are roar, Mrs. Murphy. For the Dutchman next door told me straight. The mine opens full time on Monday. That's what he told me any rate. For he met the foreman this morning as he was just entering the mine. He said the coal is quite scarce around Philly. So the breaker goes back on full time. Oh, say if the news is true. This door bill's the first thing I'll pay. A new parlor suit and a lounge I will buy and an organ for Bridgie. Hooray! Me calico shirt I will throw in the dirt. In a silk one won't I cut a shine. And the very first chance I put Seamus in pants when the breaker goes back on full time. No more stick your fist in the wash tub. The Chinaman, he'll have our trade. No more pick the scraps from the slag heap. We'll buy everything ready made. We'll dress up our children like fairies. And we'll build up a house big and fine. And we'll move away from the roundheads when the breaker goes back on full time. Oh, say if the news is true, this doorbell's the first thing I'll pay. A new parlor suit and a lounge I will buy. And an arg organ for Bridgie. Hooray! Me calico shirt I will throw in the dirt. In a silk one won't I cut a shine. And we'll move away from the roundheads. When the breaker goes back on full time. Oh, oh, we have lift off once again. Thank you so much, Eugene. Great to see you. Great to hear you. And uh, please, please come back. Please come back. Can't get enough of you. Okay. 
We'll move over now to Phil O'Connor. Phil, I'm going to ask to unmute you. You have to accept my unmuting. There you go. How are you, Phil? You well? Right. Listen to me. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm grand. Thanks very much for organizing this, Sarah. Fiber Bill. Fair wife. Fair wife, her father, because the whole round gone to Connor Gatton dinner. I'm going to sing a lovely Sally. Um, he broken hearted heroes who love your liberty. I pray you pay attention and listen unto me. It's about a bold militia man who has lately volunteered. He has left his lovely Sally, the girl that he loves dear. Now Sally conveyed him as far as Belfast. They could go no further, they had to part at last. With a wild lamentation, she cried out on the shore, Oh, Jimmy, lovely Jimmy, will I ever see you more? As they were discoursing, they heard the bugle sound. They kissed, shook hands, and parted, said he, I must be gone. With his pocket handkerchief, her tears he did wipe away, saying, go home, lovely Sally, to the county of Armagh. All that long night over, she thought her love to see no more. That he'd been claimed a victim all on the Spanish shore. How can I lie contented and he so far away? With him I hope to live and die, all on county of Armagh. So to conclude and finish, we will sing and drink again. To the volunteers of Ireland, who have lately gone to Spain. For they're the boys who fear no noise when the murdering cannons roar. With their hearts of steel, they'll stand the field all on the Spanish shore. Sinead. Lovely stuff, Phil. Where are you at the moment? Up in Gertharka. Worst places to Lourdes be in the Yeah, oh no, Tasha Jess, Tasha Ali Jess. Well, Tasha Flop, but Tasha Jess. Yeah. Bye, bye. Intak to Hena Velin. Thanks very much, Phil. Okay. Um, Tamaj Kundal Trasna Arish Gadin Costa here, America. We're going to go back over to the West Coast of America and uh, listen to Genevieve Galler now. Genevieve, I'm going to ask to unmute you and you have to accept. Am I unmuting? How are you, Genevieve? I'm doing well. How about yourself, Dara? I'm okay. I'm okay. Is it as hot there as it is in California? No, it is not. It's overcast today. Pretty chilly. Good, good. Proper order. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'll do an old classic then. Estar Mokri 
When you're far away from the home you'll soon be leaving. And it's many is a time by night and day your heart will be sorely grieving. Stranger's land might be rich and fair, and rich in treasure gold and you'll pine, I know, for the long, long go, and the love that's never olden. A star no cree in the stranger's land. There is plenty of wealth and wailing. Whilst gems adorn the rich and the grand, there are faces with hunger tearing. Oh, the road is dreary and hard to tread. Their lights on their city will blind you. You'll turn a star to air and shore, and the ones you left behind you. A star no cree when the evening sun over mountain and meadow is falling. Won't you turn away from the throng and listen? And maybe you'll hear me calling. The voice that you'll hear will be surely mine. For somebody's speed returning. Will you come? soon to the one who will always love you. Sinead, good to make it. Thanks very much, Genevieve. Great to hear you. Okay, um, I attempted to Excuse me. Uh, I attempted to give our next singer uh, a little heads up, but I'm not sure if you saw it. Um, singer's name uh, so far is Eamon's iPad. Eamon, I sent you a message, but I'm not sure you saw it. I'm going to ask to unmute you, and we'll see if you have a song. Uh, I'm going to ask to unmute you. Just accept it there, Eamon. There, Eamon. Huh. Huh. How are you, Eamon? Are you well? Yeah, I'm the one in the red chair, red pullover. I see you. You can see me all very good. Do you sing a song, yeah. Eamon? I will indeed, yes. Um, just wondering what to sing. Um, the last one was a classic. This one is another classic as well. I am a cork man, as you might have gathered, fully paid up. And uh, I'm going to sing a fully paid up kind of song from Dublin. You might have heard of it. It's called Raglan Road. So uh, you fancy that? On Raglan Road of an autumn day. I saw her first anew, that her dark hair would weave a snare, that I might wander room. I saw the danger, yet I passed along the enchanted way, and I said, let grief be a falling leaf at the dawning of the day. On Grafton Street in November, we trip lightly along the ledge of a deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passion's pledge. The queen of hearts still making tarts, and I not making hay. Oh, I love too much, and by such, by such, 
is happiness thrown away. I gave her gift of the mind, I gave her the secret sign, as known to the artists who have known the true gods of sound and stone, and words and tint without stint, I gave her points to say, with her own in there, and her own dark hair, like clouds over fields of May. On a quiet street, where all ghosts meet, I see her walking down, away from me so hurriedly, my reason must allow, that I have loved not as I should, a creature made of clay, when the angel wounds the clay lose his wings at the dawn of day. La 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 Oh, that was gorgeous, Eamon. Gorgeous, Eamon. But I, I have to, I have to say, uh, a Cork man singing a Dublin song, you want to be worried you, you don't get excommunicated for that one. I know that, yes, but I am fully paid up and uh, Roy Keane's <laughs> on my side as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm okay. Great to have uh, you, Eamon. Thanks yeah, so I much. I am in Manchester, by the way. I've been oh, in wow. Manchester 62 years. Good heavens. Yeah. Good heavens. So well, thanks, we thanks so much for tuning in and you're, you're welcome back anytime. Delighted, delighted to be here. Uh, Great. Glad they made it. Thank <laughs> you very much. No worries. Okay, um, I'm having I'm having a terrible look. I tried to I tried to let Eamon know there, and he didn't see it. And I just tried to send David Ingerson a message to sing the next song, and my keyboard jammed. It for some reason won't let me send a message. But uh, David's a consummate professional, and uh, I'm sure he'll be able to manage. So David, I'm uh, gonna unmute you now. Oh, you're, you even muted yourself. Uh, are you there, David? I am. Sure. Would you sing us a song? Delighted to be here. Uh, and thank you for organizing this and for letting me sing. Anytime. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Bridget O'Malley, you have my heart shaken with the hopeless desolation i'll have you to know it's the wonders of admiration your quiet voice has taken and your beauty will haunt me wherever I go. The pale moon above the bright stars, the bright stars o'er the torn tree are cold beside my darling, but no purer than she. Oh, I gazed upon the cold moon till the stars drowned in the warm sea. But the bright eyes of my darling are never on me. My Sunday is weary, my Sunday it is cold now. My heart, it is a cold place, my heart is a stone. All joy is dead in me. My life 
life is gone away now for another has taken my love for his own the day it is approaching when we were to be married and it's rather i would die than live only to grieve oh meet me my darling ere the sun sets o'er the valley and i'll meet you there on the road to drumshley there you are mighty mighty stuff david thank and thank you for thank you for dealing uh, with it with an off the cuff request like that thank you oh, so much sure anytime and uh, to to complete the trio of uh, oh no no we 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 have uh, we have confirmation now I was about to say to complete the trio of singers who, who had not been adequately warned uh, I hadn't heard back from Lynn Phipps but just as I said it she responded so we're going to go over to Bonnie Scotland and have a song from Lynn Phipps Lynn how are you no I'm tying what a savage will the come hmm. We got muted again there. Maybe we have you. How are you, Lynn? <laughs> Good morning, Tapala. I'm fine, thank you. Sorry, I think I fiddled with the button myself. So many of these things you have to unmute yourself. <laughs> no, I'll be bored. Ah, that's better. Okay, thank you. Um, can I sing um a, a Gaelic song, that is that okay? Absolutely not. No, no, not not around here. Okay, I'm in the wrong song then. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a complete joke. Please, please, we, uh -huh. nothing well, would make me happier. Like I was having a wee private chat with um with Elaine and we'd been talking about walking songs and so I thought I might sing one um especially for her which mentions Glasgow. Um so this is about the the, the hero Alice Vichola uh Alice Vichola Gasta um Alice Vichola MacGall um who lived in the um sixteen hundreds, didn't live very long, but he was a very famous warrior and um it includes the exciting line that Glasgow, um, little Glasgow is on fire, is being fired. So it was a violent times of clan warfare um, and um, Obrey and Aberdeen had been plundered. So <clears throat> Great. Just Lynn, Lynn, just before you start, just I'm going to give the five minute warning to Thomas because we're going to go back to him just after this song. We'll go ahead. Hallelujah, 
Mighty, mighty stuff, Carmela Margaret. I, I think, I think, yeah, uh, you, you wove enough tweed during that song to get us through the winter. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant stuff. Okay. Uh, without further ado, let us go back to our special guest, Mr. Thomas McCarthy. Thomas, I'm going to ask to unmute you, and you have to accept. No, is that all right? We have you. Did you get your cup of tea? I did. <laughs> I'm an awful man for the tea. Uh, I'll do a song that um, my grandfather used to do. And when I went up to Roscommon to Declan and, uh, and the South Roscommon singers, found out that the song was from around him, which is a great song. And the, and the boy who wrote the song, he was, I think he was as important as uh, Robert Burns, because this boy was 23, 24 years of age when he died. And he was a well-known, uh, well-known, uh, John Keegan Casey uh, and he actually wrote the song The Rising of the Moon a wonderful young man wrote over 600 songs uh, you can imagine had he lived how many he would have wrote you know fabulous songs uh, if you want to inquire about his songs you can always ask Declan Coyne uh, and he might be able to help you um, also before I start I did say I only had I was only available on Facebook. You can get me on on my email, which is Thomas McCarthy76 at yahoo.co.uk in case you do want to see. Uh, so I'll start off with the song, that song, uh, Donald Kenny. <clears throat> Come Piper play the Shashkin reel or else. The lassies on the door. Merrily aside your wheel, we can dance once more together. At the fair, the pattern of before, the reels, the jigs, we trip full money. Near again, this loved old floor, we feel the foot. Of Donald Kenny. Softly she rose, she took his hand, softly glided through the measure, while clustering around the village band, looked half in sorrow, half in pleasure. Warm blessings flowed from every lip. That sees the dancers every motion. Oh, blessed virgin guide the sheep. 
which builds Baldon for the ocean. Oh, God be with you all his side, down his face the bright tears streaming. God guard you well around the cried upon the strange path you are going. So full his breast, his scarce could speak the burning grass. The stretch hands taken, he pressed the kiss on every cheek. He sobbed as if his heart was breaking. Boys, don't forget me when I'm gone. Forsake of all the days passed over. The days you spent on heat and barn. What don't a roar, the rattling rover. Mary, a gra your soft brown eyes. Will my feet, he whispered lowly. No, there has your heart, good boy. Heaven grant you both its blessing to thee. A kiss upon her brow of snow, a rush across the moonlit meadows, whose bloom clad hazels tremble and slow, the mossy boreens wrapped in shadows. Oh, your toll is bound in real, far beyond the Iony River, one cheer on Carrick's rocky hill, and Donald Kenny's gone forever. The breezes whistle through the sails, o'er oh, Galway Bay, the ship was heaving. Some muttered groans burst in wails, Hold all the grief and the pain of living. One farm among that exile band of part and sorrow gave no token. Still was his breath, hold his hand. Donald Kenny's heart was broken. It is a great song. Donald Kenny. Uh, it was one all our family did. All my uncles and my aunts and my mother. Uh, I'll do a song off the new album. A song called Lord Loved. It is a great song as well. Like most of them old songs, start sad. Lord Lover, it was by his stable door, a mountain his milk white steed. Lady Annie, his love, was by his side, hard to bid him his last Godspeed. Lady Annie, his love, was by his side, hard to bid him his last Godspeed. Where are you going, Lord Lover, it says she, where are you going for me? To see adventures across the sea, strange countries I'd like to see. To seek adventures across the sea, strange countries I'd like to see. How long will you be, Lord Love, it says she? How long will you be from me? Not one or two, but three years, love. I will be away from thee. Not one or two, but three years, love. I he will be away from thee. A year had passed that very night. He woke from a terrible fright. He dreamed he saw his lovely Diana in a coffin where she had died. He dreamed he saw his lovely Diana in a coffin where she had died. He, he crossed the sea to his native home. He entered into the town. The people were mourning and weeping there. All her friends, they gathered around. The people were mourning and weeping there. All her friends, they had gathered around. Why are you mournful, Lord, love it, says he. 
Why are ye in misery? Is it one of your friends or your family that's gone to eternity? Is it one of your friends or your family that's gone to eternity? Oh, who is dead, Lord, love it, says he. Oh, who is dead, says he. The lead is dead, an old woman, she said, and her name it is Lady Annie. The lady is dead, an old woman, she said, and her name it is Lady Annie. The coffin it was opened wide, the shroud was cast around, then he kissed her clay cold cheeks as the tears came trickling down. Then he kissed her clay cold cheeks as the tears came trickling down. Lady Annie, she died, supposing today, Lord love it, he died tomorrow. Lady Annie, she died of a broken heart. Lord, love it of your sorrow. Lady Annie, she died of a broken heart. Lord, love it of your sorrow. And from her grave there grew a red rose, and from his grew a wild briar. The grew so high in the true lover's knot. Till the red rose it smothered the briar. They grew so high in its true lover's knot. Till the red rose it smothered the briar. Uh, another great song, isn't it? Uh, Lord loves. Uh, I do a song now that some of you know and that some of you won't know. I, I did it on the first album. It is a family song. It is about a man who gets drunk with a pig. This is for our American audience and others. It's brilliant to link up. This is the first time I ever did this. So to see other people on the screen, the only way I was ever to do it was through Facebook. Uh, so it's great to see people, uh, everyone. And, and I can't write anything up, but I can see everybody's stuff and it's brilliant. I've been watching you all in the other room on the computer. So don't think I've been going away and just not listening. I have been listening to everything. Uh, wanted to know. It's a great session. Thanks, Dara, for inviting me. Uh, and this song is about a man who gets drunk with a pig. It is a great song. It's called Clasp to the Pig. Backward and forward, I'm reeling and tight. What is this spree I have been on tonight? I have been to McCarthy's with Patsy O'Mar, always oh, drunk the black bottle from under the bar. We drank and we drank, oh, we banished all cares. We gave not a thought for foul weather or fair. Now on the floor, I'm curled up in a heap. I relieve me to sleep, be deliver me to sleep. I'm clasped to the peak in a loving embrace. The hairs of his curly tail are tickling me face. There's no use in telling me sober to keep. I relieve me to sleep, will you leave me to sleep? Over my head in the days that are gone, and gaily I flourished my naughty black thorn. And if I but only had it tonight, maybe I wouldn't be up for a fight. If it's Pat Murphy I chance for to meet, Oh, an elegant ruction we'll have in the street. He'll soon be glad in a rat or to creep. Now leave me to sleep, did he leave me to sleep? I'm clasped to the peak in a loving embrace. The hairs of his curly tail are tickling me face. There's no use in telling me sober to keep. Now leave me to sleep. Did he leave me to sleep? Drop down by the pig here and share his embrace. Let my red whiskers lie close to your face. The creator won't hurt you, he will do you no harm. Drop down by me, biddy, oh, keep me back warm. Squeeze me up tight as you've often done before, and I'll sing you to sleep. 
with the sounds of my snores. The rats and the mice all around us may creep. Now leave me to sleep. Did he leave me to sleep? That's another great song. I was often singing that song, and even in concerts and stuff, and festivals and stuff, and I'd, I just picture it, and I, I break out laughing. You know, it was a great song. I do another song now. Uh, I, I didn't know what to do, but I'll do this one. Lord Thomas, Lord, Lord. I'm thinking of Lord Lovett. This Lord Thomas, I'm thinking of. Uh, let me think of it. Come, riddle me, riddle me, dear mother, he says. Riddle me all alone. Oh, no, whether should I marry the dark haired girl or bring fair Annie home? Oh, the dark haired girl as horses and cows. Fair Annie, she's got none. Oh, now if you would take your old mother's advice, you would bring the dark haired girl home. Oh, and when he came to Fair Annie's gate, he paused there at the gate. Oh, there was none so ready as Fair Annie herself to rise and let him in. Oh, oh you're welcome here, Lord Thomas, she said. What news? What news would you tell me, oh, I have come to bring you my wedding, and that's bad news for you, oh. Come riddle me, riddle me, dear mother, she said, riddle me all alone. Oh, no, whether should I go to Lord Thomas's wedding, or should I just steal at home? Oh, Lord Thomas, he has friends enough. Fair Annie, you've got none. Oh, no, if you would take your old mother's advice. You just know who at home, oh. But she dressed herself all in the white, and her merry maids, the all in green, oh. And every town that they came through, it took her far Oh, and when she came to Lord Thomas's gate, she paused there at the gate. Oh, there was none so ready as Lord Thomas himself to rise and let her in. Oh, he taken her by the lily white hand and he led her through the hall oh, and he sat her down in the chair of gold with her merry maid all around her oh. then up and spoke the dark haired girl oh so bold says she oh Oh, where did you get that watery flower that washed you so white? Oh, then up and spoke, fair Annie dear, oh, so bold, says she, oh, I got it in my mother's womb. 
Where you'll never get like you. The dark hair girl had a small pen eye that hung down by her side. Oh, and she read it through fear and his breast. Near or she cried. Lord Hamel had a long broad sword that hung down by his side, oh, and he ripped it through the dark haired girl. And near or she cried, oh, come dig a grave, Lord Thomas, he says. Dig it wide and deep, oh, and bury her fanny at my side. The dark haired girl at my feet, oh. Lovely. Gorgeous stuff, Thomas. Uh, you, you're technically at the end of your contract. You, you, you've sung enough songs, but do you think we could we could squeeze one more out of you? Would, would that be okay? You can, of course. Uh, <laughs> is there any and you'd like to hear yourself? I, I do you know what I'd love to hear, Michael? Um, Michael <laughs> Thomas, you sang a version of Dungarvan a few months ago, uh, or a few weeks ago, maybe, on, uh, on yeah. uh, one, one of the sessions. I, I know, knew, knew the Paddy Doran version, but your version was wonderful. I'd love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the middle is more. Yeah. I'll see if I can remember it, because I think there's about nine, ten verses. I haven't done it for a while, but I'll give it a go. <clears throat> One day as I chanced to go roving, it been in the sweet month of May. Phoebus approached most charming. His bloom in his glorious rays. I chanced far to meet a young female whose aspect did me ensnare, and she making her way to Dungarvan before the first dawn of day. I quickly approached this fair female. I asked her how far she might go, or did she belong to Dungarvan? Or where was her own native home? She says, I belong to Lismore, so some turkeys I have for sale. And I make it my way to Dungarvan, or this is the market day. Or her cheeks were as red as the roses, her skin like the fallen snow. Or her limbs were seen. In proportion, I felt for her going alone. I asked if she wanted a driver. Her donkey was gone so slow. And tis then you will be in time, dear. Your turkeys, they will all be sold. She quickened her peace. Before me, I told her to take a race. But the more I advanced to discourse so her, the quicker she made her way. At sweet cap a queen, I embraced her, and I called for the cruise queen land. If I drank up a barrel of porter, this fair one she'd pay for it all. When I found her so civil and jovial, I wished for her to be my own. I told her I had a large farm, as long as the lace will hold. Besides, I have cattle and corn. I have money, nobody knows. I'll have you with snow. And as warm as if you own the whole of Lismore. While Kitty and I were discoursing, she smiled at me now and then. And her apron string, she kept turning. And twisting them around her ring. When I called for an order full jar, till Kitty and I were well pleased, and we slept till the market was over. Turkeys by and by they got cheap. But as soon as the slumber 
was over, I told her I should retreat. I'll go and consult with my master. My family is out of lease. Besides, last week I was questioned to pay up all old arrears, and I fear that he'll give me no quarter without paying him no none the With tears in her eyes, she approached me. She called me a thousand rogues, and she says that I was a deceiver with every word that I spoke. Your flattering speeches, you coax me, you boasting of all of your stores. And now that my hopes have smothered, you leave me to lie here alone. That the curse of the crows may attend you, you tricks and naughty rogue. How could I go home, my father, or how could I face with Lismore? I'll have you before the recorder in Waterford Town on next June. Is then you will be hung or transported for trespassing on the last zone. Thanks, Dara, for inviting me. Oh, and my God. I'm going to go in the other room and watch everybody on the computer. You do whatever you need to, Thomas. Thank you so much. Uh, the new album, guys, Comfort, is out now. Uh, you can get it from Thomas directly on Facebook or catch him by email. I believe uh, Ken Hall and Peter Webb also have a couple of copies. Thomas, thank you so much. Flawless stuff, as usual. And thank we'll you so much, Darren. We'll, we'll, we'll you see you everybody. soon. Please, go I ahead. I love you listening to everybody. Bye-bye. Great. Oh, OK. Well, that brings us up uh, to just after 11 o'clock, folks. So we've about a half an hour left and I'm going to do my best to race around as many singers uh, as we can get to. Um, but inevitably, we won't get to everybody. So if we don't reach you uh, this time, please come back next time and uh, we'll prioritize you. So the first singer I have lined up is, oh, Stephanie McCarthy. Although is she? Ah, we have her. As a father on the E, which threw me off. Stephanie, I'm going to ask to unmute you and you have to accept my unmuting. Stephanie, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. Hello, everybody. Have you got a song in you? I do. Um, the song I'd like to sing, it's called um, As I Roved Out from the County Cavern. Um, it's a song that I first heard uh, when I was a teenager. My dad had a copy of uh, Trian and Irono's album at home and I heard it and I just absolutely loved it. And um, um, so I thought I, I might give that a go. Um, anyway. As I roved out from the county cavern for to view the green banks of sweet Loch Ree, I fell a courtin and spied a fair one. She appeared to me like the Queen of May. And I kindly asked her if she would marry or if she'd be a soldier's wife. Oh, no, kind sir, I would rather tarry, for I vow to lead a single life. My fairest creature, with pride of nature, why do you differ from all female kind? And you're a fair one, both tall and handsome. Sure it's to marry you should incline. Sure it's to marry, I now will tell you. I have promised this five years or more to one O'Reilly from the county cavern, which oft times 
grieves my poor heart full sore. Sure it's in the morning when I can get near you. My heart goes on bleeding through the whole day. And it's in the evening when I can get near you. Those who are bound, love, they must obey. But if I had you in Phoenix Island, 1,000 miles from my native shore, or in some low valley where no one would hear us, I would entice you to be my own. But you won't have any in Phoenix Island. 1,000 miles from my native shore, but you can sail away into where you came from, for I'll wait on Riley forevermore. You're like the swan love that swims the ocean just making motion with both her wings and your snow white breast it'll be a potion to any lord or to any king but youth and folly make young men marry, and silly notions makes for no delay. But what can't be cured must be endured. So fare thee well, darling. I must away. Shanae, thank you very much. I was very nervous. Thank you. Thanks. L lovely stuff, Stephanie. Where, where are you calling? I'm I'm calling from Paris. Um, I Lord. yeah, I've been out here. In fact, tomorrow, uh, the sixth of uh, September, I, I'll have been here twenty one years. Good heavens. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I'm due to be out in the uh, the CCI, the Centre Culturel Irlandais. My pronunciation is terrible. I'm due to be there sometime next year. Do, do you sing in the, in the gall in there that they have? I do, actually. Um, one of the very first times I sang in front of any kind of a large crowd at all was, in fact, when Thomas uh, was was doing the uh, the the Gaulin when he was there. Ah, the there. And um, uh, we've we've actually got a lovely uh, Irish language singing group here. Um, they're a fantastic bunch of people, and um, we we've got a very we're very active. Like at the CCI, it's kind of like a, a home away from home, in many ways. Great stuff. I, I'll I'll be there next September. I'll look you up. Fantastic. Uh, Please do. Yeah. Great to have you, Stephanie. Thanks very much, and thank you, everyone. No worries. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, a man named Three Jerry. Three Jerry, I'm going to unmute you, and you have to accept my unmuting. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I had you, Jerry, and then I muted you again. My fault. There we have you. Jerry, are you well? Yes, thanks. Yeah, my name's not Three Jerry. I don't know why it says that. My name's Jerry Simon. And I'm singing from Sheffield in England. Um, this is a song about somebody who wanted just a straightforward, simple life and couldn't get it. I was once young and foolish in my early years. I was fond of night rambling. And I was fond of my beer. 
Oh, if I'd had my own sweet home and my sweet liberty, I would go no more a soldiering, neither by land nor by sea. Now the first time that I deserted, I thought I was free, but my cruel companions informed against me. I was quickly followed after and brought back my speed, placed in the Queen's guard room. Heavy irons put on me, and if I'd had my own sweet home and my sweet liberty, I would go no more a soldiering, neither by land nor by sea. Court martial, court martial, they held upon me, and they passed on me sentence three hundred and three. May the Lord have mercy on them for their cruelty. For now the Queen's duty lies heavy on me. And the next time that I deserted, I thought I was free. But my cruel sweetheart informed against me. I was quickly followed after and brought back by speed, placed in the Queen's guard room, heavy irons put on me. And if I'd had my own sweet home and my sweet liberty i would go no more a soldiering neither by land nor by sea court martial court martial i very soon got they passed on me sentence. I am to be shot. May the Lord have mercy on them for their cruelty. For now the Queen's duty lies heavy on me and I ain't got no sweet home nor my sweet liberty but I'll go no more a soldiering neither by land nor by sea Lovely stuff, Jay. Do you say you're in Sheffield? Uh, when I can, yeah. When there's something on, yeah. Great, great. Uh, well, you're welcome back anytime. Uh, I don't you, believe, have, you haven't been with us before, have you? No, I haven't been to this before. No. Uh, okay, I've well, been I've been twice with Thomas to um, the Ross Common sing. Ah, great, great, great stuff. Well, like I say, welcome back anytime. First of many, I hope. Thank you. Okay, um, we're going to move over now to Ms. Annie Hughes. Annie, I'm going to unmute you. Annie, how are you? Hello, very 
very good. Yeah. Very I tell you good. now, Annie, the, the dubs have been very underrepresented this evening. Have they? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to balance it out somehow. Right. Yeah. You don't I'm, have to I'm... sing a Dublin song. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick change, Dublin song. Um. Yeah, I could. Uh, I'll just go with. Um, Do sing whatever you like. That's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's been a cracker of an evening. Thank you so much for putting it on. As always, it's been deadly. Um, I'll do. Ooh. Ooh. What I'll do. <laughs> How could I live at the top of a mountain? With no money in my pocket and no gold for to count it. But I would let the money go all for to please her fancy. And I would marry no one. But my bunny blue, I at last see. She's my bunny blue, I at last see. With an air so sweet and tender, her walk like the swan that floats, and her waist so small and slender her golden hair in ringlets fair hung our snow white shoulder and i'd ask her for to marry me and there's no one could be bolder some people say that she's very low in station and other people say she'll be the cause of my ruination but let them all say what they will to me, she will prove constant still till the day that I die. She'll be my own lovely lady. Lightly swims the swan over the dark waters of a and blithely sings the nightingale so happy to behold her the winds do blow the murkocks crow the moon that shines so deeply but deeper by far is my love for my own lady. Some people say that she's very low in station. And other people say she'll be the cause of my ruination. But let them all say what they will. To me, she will prove constant still till the day that I die. She'll be my own lovely lady. Any? Good.
Good stuff, Annie. Doing a one for the dubs. Brilliant. Okay. Um, we're going to move on now. Sadly, we've only two singers left. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Frank Callery to sing the next song. And then I'm going to ask Bernie Dermy to finish us off. So, Frank, I'm going to unmute you now. To accept my unmuting. Frank, how are you? Good, Dara. How are you? I'm 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 good. I just I just just really wanted to drive home the balancing out dubs thing. Also, that that you're a great singer as well, but really we're underrepresented this evening. Have you got a song for us? I have. Um, I do a song about the famine from uh, a looking back aspect, from looking back from America, sort of thing. Um, there are three um, Irish questions in 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 the last chorus. Uh, the first one is Kailesh on Tokris, which is who owns the hunger. The next one is who owns the sadness. And the next one is who owns the graves that are spread wide and far uh, for people who don't speak the language. So it's called Looking Back. What brought them hither, sickly and naked, their eyes sunk and black, in the bilge of black ships, the ocean that rocked them, their lives sunk in grief, leaving the famine for the shores of relief. What brought them here to the far shores beyond? The ruined, famished land that to them was so dear. The ghosts that they carried, the pain that they married. Weak and forlorn, when all hope disappeared. Soon they would rise from the grief of their sorrow. Soon they would prize the lots of despair wind from the land and the shadows of cities the warmth and the pity the wells they would share but back on the island, the hunger had lost. The graves covered over the lives that were tossed. Where the grass whispers softly on hillside and meadow. Where bones once had whitened great hunger in the call. on Tokras, Kailesh on Bro, Kailesh na Huigna, Shina Ivo. They are ours, for we claim them, the lost ones we owe in the graves that are widest, just under the sun. Lovely stuff, Frank. Thanks so much. Okay, well, that brings us to just about the end. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure, folks. Once again, I, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like there's a sense that we're returning to a season again. I certainly missed uh, the number of sessions. It was nice to, nice to have a few months off, but uh, 
yeah, it's been great to have everybody back, and I could I could feel everybody welcoming the season back in. And um, like I say, if we didn't get to you guys, please just come back to us next month. Let us know. Uh, we'll make you know we'll make a priority of you. And uh, there's been a couple of links to the evening that the Seamus and Hazard Centre have posted, and perhaps they'll post them again now that I'm saying it. Um, if you have not been to badly uh, financially hit by this pandemic and you can spare uh, a few quid to support the arts and support art centers like the Seamus Art Center. They have a donate link. Um, you know, the smallest bit could, uh, uh, the smallest bit could help uh, in, in these times. And uh, I think there's a lot of people on this call who, who know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. On that note, I'm going to ask uh, Bernie Dermody to unmute. Okay. Bernie, how are you? Great, uh, fabulous night, by the way. I think it was. I Lord think it was. It's great. It's back to have it back again. Yeah. 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 How are you keeping yourself? Great farm. I'm still cocooning. Would you believe down in Ballinasloe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you great. must have a song to to send us off to sleep. I said I probably will send you off to sleep. <laughs> I'll 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 sing a. It's an immigrant song uh, by Percy French. Uh, it's actually called the. Emigrant's Letter, are, are better known probably as the, the um, Cut in the Corn Creature. Same song. Take it away. Excuse me. Dear Danny, I'm taking the pen in my hand to tell you we're just out of sight of the land. In a big anchor liner, we're sailing in style. But I'm sailing away from the Emerald Isle. And a strange sort of sigh seems to come from us all. As the waves hit the last boat of old Donny Gold. Sure, it's well to be you that is taking your take. So please, God, why come back to our Krishna someday? Sure, I spoke to the captain, but he won't turn around. And if I swam back, sure, I'm apt to be drowned. So I'll stay where I am, for the diet it is great. And there's lots of combustibles piled on my plate. Although it is sumptuous, sure I'd swap the whole lot. For the old wooden spoon in the stirabout pot. And Katie furnished me a wet in the tay, where the cotton, the corn, around Krishna today. There's a woman on board who knows Katie by sight, and we talk of old times till they put out the light. I'm to meet a good woman tomorrow on deck and we'll talk of all times from here to Quebec. I know I'm no match for her, no, not the least. With her house and two cows and her brother a priest. But the woman declares, Katie's heart's on the same, while mine's with the reapers round Krishna today. So goodbye to you, Danny. There's no more to be said, for I think the salt water's got into my head. And it drips from my eyes when I call to my mind the friends and the colleagues I'm leaving behind. But your Katie herself 
when she bid me goodbye had just a slight trace of a tear in her eye and a break in her voice when she said you might stay so please god i'll come back to our creech love someday hopefully that'll help you sleep <laughs> I, beautiful 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 stuff bernie and uh, thank Thanks you to that. everybody Number. um we uh, Thanks, will be back next Thanks, month uh, with dimrick exactly. mcgilla vrida the wonderful donegal oh. uh shanlo singer uh but uh just now that i have a lot of you unmuted could you please just give one more round of applause for thomas mccartney Yay. Next time, folks. Iwa. 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 Hi, Connor. Bye-bye. Night, night. Night, Lisa and Charlie. Bye, night. Love a few later tonight. Night, Are you singing? Hi, y'all. Good night. That's you on, is it? Yeah. Great to see you. Yeah. See everybody. Hope you